participating in the conference as Kenya Airways, and in particular as Fahari Aviation. So I know most of us are not aware of uh, Fahari Aviation. I'll give a brief introduction of the company. But before that, I'd like to recognize the Director General RCMRD, Dr. Emmanuel Nkunzinza, representative from government, the government of Kenya in particular, representative from the governing council, representatives from fellow partners and stakeholders, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. As I said earlier, I'm here to represent two organizations. The first one I think is well known to most of us, which is Kenya Airways PLC. And I've visited here a number of times with the Director General. And I realized that RCMRD has a tagline that says, Mapping for Sustainable Development. And that rhymes very well with us from Kenya Airways. Because our mission is to contribute to the sustainable development of Africa. We have been in this business for a long time ever since the East African Airways days and to the formation of Kenya Airways in 1977. So Kenya Airways as a corporate entity has been contributed to the sustainable development of Africa for over 45 years now. We actually celebrated our 45th year in February this year. And we've gone through a very difficult moment as Kenya Airways. Uh, we're in the business of air services, air transportation services. And two years ago, I know we are all aware, especially air services for passenger transport collapsed. And at Kenya Airways, what we decided to do is to look into other ways that relate to our core business and look for ways to contribute or to continue our, our contribution to the sustainable development of Africa, to stick to our mission. And that's where Fire Aviation comes in. Comes in. So Fire Aviation is a wholly owned subsidiary of Kenya Airways PLC. Our mandate is in application of technology, emerging aviation technologies, advanced aviation technologies that will contribute to transforming African communities. So our mission is transforming African communities through sustainable technologies. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you now see where our vision with our CMRD gets points of convergence. At Fahari Aviation, we offer services in aerial mapping, in photogrammetry, in GIS, in cartography, but mostly through use of technology. So what we do is we have the emerging technology of drones that fortunately for us in Kenya here has received approval in terms of use uh, regulations for use of civilian drones. So at Fahari Aviation, a company that was formed actually in 2020 at the height of the pandemic, we took drone technology as our first technology of implementation. And now we have services in surveillance, we have services in inspections, we have services in agriculture, conservation, and all aspects that RCTI offers in terms of training. It is our endeavor as the DG has mentioned, to continue the partnership with RCMRD towards embedding drone technology in all aspects of the regional center. I will also invite and indulge you to our booth. To find time, we have a team from Fahari Aviation that will show you what we do, I'll show you a snapshot of the project that we've taken uh, in Kenya our aim this year 
and beginning of next year is to go regional. We still have a small challenge. I was discussing with my colleague from Sudan. We still have a small challenge from a regulatory aspect. Our neighbors have not yet enacted regulations for civilian use of drones, but we see through our East African liaison a path towards enactment of regulations for use of drone across the region. Last but not least, I thank the DG and the regional center for seeing it fit that for our aviation through Kenya we should participate in this conference and we are looking forward to engagement with all the partners here and future clients. Thank you.